Capricorn, hey y'all, welcome back to your Southern Intuition. This is going to be a general love reading for the month of September. I'm going to pull you a Celtic cross. We'll clarify some energies and close it off with some advice and a message from the Moonology deck. <clears throat> Kathy, keep in mind, I do believe that everything connects eventually, and if it is your message to hear, you will do so, and then please like, share, and subscribe. Hmm. A little confused about whatever these changes are that are taking place. <laughs> but still working at it. All right, let's get in my shuffle. Kathy, 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 Kathy. <clears throat> Wait, waiting, waiting just a little longer. Let's see your cards. The overall for the reading is the Three of Wands. Waiting, waiting, waiting. But your outcome, it doesn't look like you're waiting any longer at that Knight of Wands. But overall, right now, things could be at a standstill. Um, the Three of Wands is more kind of about, you're not really doing much. You're just observing right? It seems like you got a lot going on, and right now you're just kind of taking time out, you're checking things, you know, what's this, what's that? Um, there's three pillars, right, in your life. Love, health, wealth. Are these areas of your life going well? Um, are they going the way you want them to be? Uh, have you successfully manifested things the way you want them to be in all these different areas or is there still some work here that needs to be done because really only you know only you know um if that is if you're willing to take a closer work, look at that and right now you're like no eight of swords coming into the current moment you don't want to look at nothing <laughs> <laughs> you're just trying to ignore all that like man I don't I don't want to um, you're kind of making excuses maybe um, you've I feel like you've put some kind of limitations upon yourself it's a limiting belief that you have but you're growing here right so which means that you got to dig deeper you got to find new ways to solve current problems knowing when to be still, when you shouldn't take action. And it might even feel like it's kind of a weakness to you, but it's actually more of an asset to you than what you believe when it comes to your current circumstances. Um, use it to your advantage, maybe, because you're a little bit vulnerable, I feel like. And you have the opportunity to remove yourself from this situation, whatever is stressing you out, whatever is keeping you in in this mode of not I don't know but I'm not really sure but it's it's because you're waiting and you're not really doing much and it's because you're pretending like everything's good the nine of pentacles is that energy of oh yeah everything's great here you know I'm I'm doing well I'm uh learning how to set boundaries and in my health and my material treasures and whatever coins or secrets you might be keeping uh, protected at this time. It's something you've created, you know, you've worked hard to create that. And you want to keep enjoying it. So then, why would you do anything different, basically? I'll just wait, kind of attitude. Um, and it's all happening because that page, 
could be some sort of messaging and communication here. But remember, I talked about you learning. And you're creating something and it's meant to be fun. You know, you're meant to play. You're meant to explore. You're, you're meant to bring things together. Um, it's like you have to get permission. I, why am I getting that? Is that why you feel trapped? You could be getting, feeling like you need to get permission to play here. Hmm. And that's, whatever, there's something here that you want to use or do, and you're waiting to see that result. And you might be surprised to find that uh, you can actually create whatever you want to out of this situation if you stop ignoring whatever it is you're ignoring. I will clarify to find out, but... It's got to do with some sort of cycle that came to a close. The world card shows up in your recent past. And that cycle says that it's done. You know, this is done. Um, the world's a reminder of the cycle of nature, you know, in existence here where something ends, something else begins. We all end, we begin at the same place, ultimately we really never go anywhere, but something in your life may have came to a natural end. But it's not the end that you need to be focused on. It's what's been created because something has come for full circle here and you've learned it. And you're here saying it's all good, but I don't know. There's still something that you are ignoring. Page of Wands is in your um, strength. And this is you getting honor and respect because of whatever your creative idea, whatever this is that you've done. And you're kind of taking your time with that again to understand that if you failed at doing something, well, that's part of the process. It's okay. Practice makes perfect. You just get up, you try again. And so you keep moving. You keep going. That's what I'm showing up as your strength. You know, in the next adventure, let's go get it. But in the immediate future, you're coming up against a four cups energy, which is maybe a little bit of dissatisfaction. <clears throat> maybe sometimes getting everything that you want and everything that you dreamed of isn't really like you thought it would be. Sometimes things can be too much. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sometimes these things can be too overwhelming. They're too, you know, just too good to be true. The bigger problem that I'm seeing here is that you have finally manifested what it is that you want and everyone else wants to give you more of the same. So sometimes you got to be careful with what you wish for because it just might show up. Supporting the reading here, Page of Swords, another sense of messaging, communication. Whatever piece of the puzzle was missing is here it is. It's coming out to you here um this page seems very very curious about something that he's dealing with he's got that sword he's looking at it he's like what is that you know it it's appeared and there's some sort of ideal that he's got and it's a harmless ideal but it's tickling your imagination it's something that's filling your head and with images and filling your body with all these emotions and it's exciting you. Whatever it is, it's something new and it's exciting. And it might not be something that you need to hold on to for very long. Maybe, again, we we'll go back to this thing that's crossed your mind or whatever. You, you don't need to wait here, okay? This is a lesson of discernment. Um, the knowledge of what is what life is kind of giving you, you know, what that it will bring you pain. You know, it can. You're, you're just kind of starting here. You're just at the starting line. You haven't even reached the finish line with whatever it is. And it's a little blurry. Things could be a little blurry, but if you give it just enough time, enough practice, you know, you're going to be able to figure it out, right? You're going to be able to understand more so of what's going on. So then what you may not be aware of, we have another card of a cycle, and it's the Empress. Um, 
this is something that's full of potential or someone this is something or someone that everything she does it brings love it brings this beautiful creative energy into the world and she knows she knows what it takes to do that to to grow with that from from this ideal that she's gotten that she seems to be ignoring she understands the amount of time and energy it takes to be committed to something for it to process process you know to creation so she she might ask, you know, if you understand, do you understand? Maybe this person's, do you understand what's going on here? Because nothing worth creating is going to happen quick and easy. No, it's going to take its toll. It's going to push you to the limits, push you beyond those limits. But she knows it's going to be worth it in the end. So, and you're hoping for something to do with this Empress because you got the lovers coming up here. And this is two energies, it's two people coming together on a journey, it's reconciliation, um, it's a twin energy, because it is the card of Gemini, but it's something that's represented here as this mermaid, and she sees you, she's looking at herself, and it's, it's like a self, I'm getting this card more so of like you looking at yourself in the future, and where you want to be, it's about a choice, um, it's the lovers raises a lot of questions you know who is who is she seeing in this picture or who is she wishing to be you know uh, do you want the other half here do you want whatever that looks like can you identify the energy that surrounds it are you even aware um, there's a sense of needing to make time here to know yourself to know what's important to making time to love to honor yourself to setting a foundation in a relationship that could come next but you do have this knight of wands popping up there he is dun, 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 dun. which i feel is the action that you have been waiting to take and this knight of wands is going for it he's he's going for the gusto he doesn't care he's uh dancing into your life uh assuring you that whatever hard work training is coming to a head you're going to be able to showcase everything that you've learned, your new skills, whatever you've spent hours refining here, whatever sacrifices you've made, everything's going to be worth it. So you're going to need to identify whatever this opportunity is because it might look like a little bit of a distraction for you. It might come in as, what? What? What is that? You know? So I'm curious. What is the Three of Wands and what Cappy is waiting for? Let's see. Strength. Oh, the strength to make a move here. Yeah. Yeah. The strength to pull the rug out from underneath it. The strength to do it. To put a little bit of effort into it. That's what you're waiting for. Waiting for the strength to make it happen. Thus, ignoring it all at the same time. The Eight of Swords. Let's see. What is Cappy ignoring? An option, an opportunity when it comes to a relationship that you don't see. That you don't see because you're pretending that everything's fine. But they're over here like, hey, supporting the reading. I want to talk to you. Again, on your focus, hey, a message, a communication. And it's almost like, you know, this might have been a situation that came to an end and you've dealt with it. You've went on, you've, you've done things. And then here it is. And you're like, what do I do with this now? Let's see the four of cups, the star. Yeah. The knight of cups, the knight of wands. Yeah. <laughs> this could be someone you work with. The eight of pentacles shows up. This energy is coming in, bursting into your reality. And you're just like, oh, Oh, what is that? I don't, I don't remember that. I don't remember them looking that way or I didn't know that they had a beard or, you know, I just, um, I don't know, but this person is definitely communicating with you. Let's see this Empress. Ten of Pentacles, the Hierophant, the Five of Cups. Interesting. Hmm, there's some sort of connection here that you're not really happy about. You're sad about it. 
there's a sense of sorrow there's a sense of loss when it comes to this person here that you really wanted to be committed to that you wanted in your reality and maybe you had to walk away from them let's see that lovers because you still hope for them and they're actually showing up here but you're ignoring it five of swords four of wands nine of swords yeah yeah the two of cups this is a beautiful connection that's here but you seem it seems to stress you out you don't really know what to do about it. Uh, it could be just a friendship. I don't know. It's just stressing you out. You're all up in your head about it. I don't know why. Let's see the intention of this Knight of Wands coming in. <laughs> Love you. Please you. Yeah, you're moving in the direction. If you um, get off the sphere... If you stop being in stagnation, stop being resistant. Um, I do see this person coming in. I, I see them coming towards you, but manifesting wise, there's blockages that you could be doing. Uh, a lot of that's got to do with whatever it is that you're waiting to say, waiting to see, waiting to whatever. Um, but here they come. Nevertheless, Capricorn, Queen of Cups, Two of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Four of Wands. There's a connection. I don't know. You could have uh, two choices here. I've not seen the Queen of Cups show up yet. Here she is. Um, there's that connection again that you are hoping for you that's driving you nuts. The universe is saying, look, feel with your heart when it comes to what you want and how you're trying to decide to do things here. Feel with your heart. Uh, to make whatever decisions, practical decisions, don't don't forget to use your heart. Let's see what the Moonology has for Capricorn. Step out of your comfort zone. Interesting. Show the world the real you. Step out of your comfort zone there, Cappy. <laughs> let's see what the north node has for you okay so there is a strong feeling when you get this card that it's time to leave the past behind somehow because you're headed in the right direction if you want to be happy and you want to be fulfilled then you need to get going towards doing the thing that scares you within reason of course but this card is all about living your life purpose, which is possibly what you've asked about. So it's urging you to dare to do something different with your life and your direction to take action. So are you willing, Capricorn, here? Are you willing to follow through and to lead your life into an, you know, a new incarnated life here that you've created? If you finally find the courage, which I see you trying to do, to make the leap then there's a good chance that you'll come to ask yourself, why did I wait so long? <laughs> I know I'm headed in the right direction. You're headed for something which feels like it's destiny. You know, you need to face a fear and get over it. It's time to stop obsessing about someone or something. You need to stand on your own two feet because you've got this. The North Node is where the moon crosses the ecliptic going north. It's a karmic point and on the horoscope chart shows us where we need to, to do and where we need to go with our life to find satisfaction, fulfillment, and happiness. The North Node is the karmic astrological point that reminds us to paraphrase Andrew Guide. Uh, look that name up. I don't know. Andrew, A-N-D-R-E-G-I-D-E. -E, that in order to discover the new oceans, we have to be prepared to lose sight of the shore. Maybe he was an old explorer. I'm not sure. So, stepping out of your comfort zone. There you have it. Show the world who you are. Because um, they're coming for you. <laughs> and that's what I have for you. So, good luck with that.